Welcome to video 4. In this tutorial, we will cover the input and output setup, including I.O. hardware, I.O. setup, busing, inserts, as well as hardware setup. After selecting I.O. setup from the setup drop-down menu, you will be brought to this dialog box. Here, your routing is configured via a grid. The converter inputs are located across the top of the menu, while Pro Tools inputs are to the left. To change any combination of the inputs, simply click and drag the left or right marker to the input which you want. By clicking on the output tab, you will see the exact same grid for your converter's output. To create a new marker on the grid, simply double click in any empty square. Clicking on the bus tab will bring you to the Pro Tools inner routing matrix. You can use buses for aux ends, molts, or any variety of reasons. The Inserts tab allows you to configure hardware inserts to your converter. Inserts will default to the same input and output. This would be used if you wanted to print a hardware EQ, compressor, or studio effect onto a track. The Mic Preamp tab allows you to control and configure any digital mic pres which Pro Tools supports. The Hardware Insert Delay tab allows you to adjust a small delay to compensate for any hardware you may be using on your track inserts. In any of the first four tabs, selecting New Path will bring up this dialog box. You can then choose a stereo or mono path. By clicking Auto Create Subpath, it will automatically create two mono paths for your stereo path and assign them accordingly. Located on the right side of the output tab, you will find Audition Path. This is the playback path for performing functions like importing, using Audio Suite plugins, and auditioning samples or loops. Typically, you want to keep it as your main left-right output. On the first four tabs, you will also notice an option on the bottom left named Import and Export Settings. By clicking Export Settings, you can export your current setting to Pro Tools default I.O. Settings folder. By clicking Import Settings, you can import default setups or ones you have created. One last thing of note, is I.O. Bus Mapping on the Bus tab. This helps you when you change hardware interfaces. When you take a session to another studio, it allows you to keep the I.O. naming in the session intact by just mapping to the new interface. Now we can look at the Hardware Setup page. The Hardware Setup page is simply used to define what inputs and outputs your converter should be looking at. Whether you have your inputs and outputs wired to analog, AES-EBU, or optical, you can adjust any of these by simply clicking on the up or down arrows accordingly for each input and output per tab. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for video 5 as we navigate Pro Tools.